I'll just start walking around. This is the storage area. We've got the gas right near here, so you can put a barbecue in here, but I've used it for storage. That's the diesel fuel. Little table outside handle to get in. Electric step here, which is pretty handy if you're getting in and out all the time and stopping and starting and moving around. The Dometic door works pretty good. You got the So you can have the security mesh shut at night time and you can lock it. You can still get a bit of airflow. Has a blind, needs a little bit of oil. Cassette for the toilet. Be stock standard. Spot for two, four kilo. 3.7 kilo gas bottles Probably fit a little bit more storage in here, but not too much Just Another storage area here A 240 volt inlet It's the grey water outlet there. You can get a cam lock fitting that fits on there for the Grey water. That's about it for outside. Oh, there's a 3.5 meter wind out for armor awning. I'll take it through inside. volt power sockets there, USB 240 volt that runs off the, the inverter as well these windows got a fly screen and a blind they're not the easiest to use but you do get used to them I've got used to them by now so Clip those in and put them down. These Dometic double glazed windows are pretty good because they can open at any spot. They don't they don't have like the ratchet sort of latching system, so the wind doesn't bomb in and out as easy. They work pretty good. This Thetford sink. Comes jam packed with a few extras. Got a little draining rack that you can slip under here. Little tub so you can go outside and do the dishes outside. Or you could use it as an extra rinsing bucket or something. Cutting board and a draining rack there. storage area here that's a good spot for a bin which should be put on the door there okay. the door. microwave this storage under here is the um, the gas hot water system it's instant gas suburban hot water system so that there's no storage area in there a couple of overheads toilet and shower and a light and a fan up there. So it's not a huge shower, but it's big enough. It's definitely big enough. Bit of wardrobe. Some people prefer just shelving, which can be easily put in there. 
This is the Fitra Frigo 140 litre fridge freezer. The, there's a the freezer space there. And that's the fridge. Now at the bottom the drawers for like veggies. And this is a Cimarine battery monitoring. So this tells you how much power your fridge is using, how much power you're getting from your solar. And it can tell you your the water level of your water tanks. So right now the fridge is using six amps. I'm not getting any solar because I haven't put the solar panels on yet. We just on this trip we're just going off the DC DC charger while we're driving. We're doing heaps of driving anyway, so but you can fit 720 watts of solar on the roof, which can yeah, is, is more than enough. So this here is the light switch. It's a dimmable LED strip lights. Pretty easy to find in the dark. You just hit that handle and the light turns on. You can dim it, which is important, I reckon. Power here for a TV or to charge your phone or whatever. My windows, a bit more storage. In the front, we've got a reading light, a Sirocco fan. More storage and overhead cabinets. Now the kitchen here, this is the gas hot plate, it's a three burner. There's a bit more storage under here. We've got all our food in there, that's pretty much all our dry food in there for this trip, which is only a three or four day trip. So. The drawer here can fit all your cutlery, pots, pans, plates. Bowls. A bit more storage in there, which has got the mat for the outside there. Yeah. Also got this drawer here in this in this particular build, but it's a massive drawer. But this can be modified to be accessed from the outside hatch. So then that will be a tunnel boot instead. So this, this will get blanked off with a blank panel. This will be changed to a lift up flap so you can still access your tunnel boot. And then there'll be a tunnel boot running the whole way through there, which is probably better because then things like flippers and the mat for outside that I've got in here have been the tunnel boot, which Probably be just make more sense. Um, in here we've got just the electrical circuit breaker. There's a power power point there, which that's there for if anybody would want an air conditioner. That can be installed here. You can plug it in through here. It can be all run inside the cupboards. Got the microwave over there. And range hood and that's a queen size bed up the front I don't know if there's anything else I need to tell you the internal dimensions is 1950 high it's 2 meters and 40 millimeters wide so that's why that it's a queen size bed 1500 by 2 meters the length of the bed is 1500 there and then it's 2.8 or 2.9 meters long this way under here we've got the batteries that's a 200 amp hour lithium battery a 40 amp ac charger and the 40 amp dc dc and that also does the solar so 40 amps of solar or up to depends what the solar panels are putting out and then underneath there I've got the 2000 watt inner drive inverter 
and that inverter is a good one because it's it's got an automatic transfer switch so your power points will automatically run off that if it's turned on but if you plug into the 240 volt power at a caravan park all your power points will run off the caravan park's power and then your battery charge will start charging your battery up I think that's about it.